Well, welcome back to daytime. We are going to keep our creative juices flowing here in the kitchen with our next guest. It's the do-it-yourself guy. I'm talking about Nicholas Rosacci. Thank you for coming, Nicholas. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me both. Glad to have you here. Do-it-yourself projects. We were talking about this yesterday. They can mm -hmm. be a little daunting, and uh, they, can, they can come out looking a little amateur. They can. They can. I think um, at Dabble Magazine, one of the big things that we really stand behind is that true chicness isn't about how much something costs, but rather what you made from something simple. Mm -hmm. So we always try to take very simple um, materials and products and really turn them into something that's show-stopping. And that's what we have for you today, a really show-stopping project. So how can you avoid making a project look amateur and make it show-stopping? You know what I think? I think ultimately, no matter what you do with the do-it-yourself projects and stuff like that, it's all about just kind of stepping outside the box a little bit and just kind of saying, you know what, it's supposed to be fun and everything. And if you have fun with it and you follow the instructions, and at Dabble we have everything online for you and our instructions are really user-friendly, then you can't go wrong and it's going to be amazing. Great. Right. Cool. Uh, so we've got some things we're going to be making today, and the first yes. thing is a penny mirror. That's right, yes. Uh, wh wh why the penny? Okay, well the penny to me, and I love the penny, I have great memories of throwing them in the fountain, but apparently that's why they are talking about discontinuing the penny, because people keep throwing them away. So it costs so much to produce, and so if they do get rid of the penny, how do we play homage to this once humble symbol mm -hmm. of... Uh, of money so mm -hmm. we thought why don't we do a great mirror we did this little cocktail table as well mm -hmm. so the uses are yes. just endless and we were talking about this before it just looks regal oh yes well thank you thank throwing you. them together it looks absolutely well, it's that yeah. copper which is one of those hot metals of the season you're seeing it mm. from shoes to belts too and you were mentioning some great wristwatches and yes. stuff like that all utilizing this precious metal right now so great very, you want to very cheap too <laughs> very cheap, very yeah, cheap. Exactly. Yeah. oh my god this whole thing costs like five dollars to make it's really funny so okay so let's really get started here. all right okay so we got our martini shaker which i put some dirty pen <laughs> so of course I do, I really okay. we, were we were talking about this before is we Ooh. thought we're doing everything with pennies, but pennies are gross. <laughs> they are, they are. Well, I, I won't be drinking anything out of this martini Please shaker don't. after, but we've got our standard martini shaker, and that's a great way to kind of just dress it up for TV here. Mm -hmm. Some vinegar, and if you've ever cleaned pennies before, I think we've all done this like in grade three or something. Yeah, yeah. It's so simple. It's vinegar, and it's a little bit of salt. Do you guys want to do that? You want to first sure. them Yeah. So shake that's them how off. you get them, like, just spick and span. Like that's how you get them there. to look shiny, like the shiny. ones that I have there. How shake, much? Shake. Does it just matter? Just a little bit. Oh. I'm kind of, you know, right. like um, eyeball it kind of guy. Okay. Put vinegar. How much do you want in there? Uh, just enough to kind of coat the pennies. Is that enough? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's actually. good? Okay. Yes. Great. And then, put the lid on. Salt and vinegar is all you need. Just kind of give it a shake up. And you do want to kind of let it sit for, you know, about 15, 20 minutes before you're going to get them okay. as clean as what you see on the mirror over here. Okay. But I, of course, brought some already clean pennies for you all. Wonderful. So we've got these amazing pennies, and this is one of my favorite products. This is uh, No Nails by LePage. Oh. This is so chic. So this will hold anything onto the wall or onto anything. You know, like sometimes a glue gun, you glue something off, but it breaks off. It's not strong mm -hmm. enough. Yeah. This is not coming off. It's so oh. easy. And there's no heat. So if you're doing this with kids at home, mm -hmm. so simple, you don't have to worry about burning fingers or anything like that. But would it stick oh, to your good. skin if it's It won't stick strong? like super glue. Okay. It takes like a little while to dry and stuff like that. But if you leave it on your skin, yeah, good luck getting it off. So, <laughs> <laughs> so wear gloves, if you will. Just wear gloves. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're going to take a little bit of no-nails, and we're just going to apply it on the back of a penny, and you can uh -oh. pick whether or not it was a good year for the queen's face or not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll give that one to you. All right, thank there you. you. I'll give one so to I you see too. you're just layering the pennies. We you're are. not putting one thing. coat. Well, we did a little coat of copper spray paint over top of this mirror that I actually found, mm -hmm. and, um, and that just kind of, so if you see a little bit of the frame through, you don't see it anymore. You just see pure on copper. So okay. right. you just stick them anywhere you want. Anywhere you want, so that you don't really actually have a pattern going? Uh, well, I do. Okay, I don't want to screw it up, then. Follow the pattern just a little bit. <laughs> My mom's getting this after, so don't oh, really? mess up. Okay. <laughs> so how do you come up with these ideas? I wouldn't think, I wouldn't look at a penny and think, art. Oh my god, <laughs> you know what no. it is? The penny is so chic at the moment, and it's that copper color, but um, they're also doing this in, in big design magazines as floors in kitchens. and Penny them. floors? Not so pennies, gorgeous. right? But Actual pennies, Actual yeah. pennies? On the floor, like really, really, really slick. Really? And that's actually where I got this idea. I kind of saw it on the floor and I thought, that's too beautiful to walk on. And I thought, let's bring it into some um, home accessory pieces. I don't think I'm important enough to be walking on pennies. Walking well, on actual pennies. It's Wouldn't important enough, though. It's but really, is it really good, good luck? luck. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Well, like on the, <laughs> well, the penny table, I actually took pennies that were like specific years, like the year I was born and the year my sister was born, and things that actually meant oh, something that's to me. Cool. Oh, so I kind of so thought that was really cool. Little hidden so. subtle messages. So yeah. really fun like project. That. We've got all the instructions online, and we'll be doing it at the uh, International Home Show, which is one of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. Yes, you'll actually be uh, making an appearance April 14th. Yes. And will you be teaching do-it-yourself projects? We're going to be doing a whole bunch of DIY projects. We have so many that are in Dabble, and they're all really easy and user-friendly. And uh, I think we're doing it at 3:30. Um, 
great. Cool. Josh was on a now, can we talk about this. the penny a little bit, as, or the table as well, Oh, rather? yes, absolutely. Um, Do you want to bring it around? Uh, I, well, we'll just take a look at it, I think, and then just maybe walk us through exactly how you did it, because it's not a table made out of pennies, right? It's not made out of pennies. Right. Um, you could do that. It would probably be very time-consuming. Yeah, sure. And, then, like, <laughs> and heavy. Spray, and very, 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 very heavy. heavy. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Well, right now we're, we're, you know, getting the weather's getting warm. It's really exceptionally nice outside. So it's all about going out and scouting for things. So we scouted mm -hmm. uh, a lot of garage sales. We found that little cocktail table. And it was like literally $15. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, a bit of copper spray paint, as you see here. And then right. the pennies. And it's really show-stopping. I have it in my living room at home. And I get so many compliments when people come in. So it's nice. really different. Different. Very, very cool. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to start decorating too. Oh, this yes. looks fun. There we go. <laughs> Is there any way I can go wrong? Things that we should steer clear of when mm -hmm. we're actually Ooh. doing do it yourself projects? Well, with this one in particular, if you didn't want to use, if you have the really grimy pennies, you could also use like a <laughs> calcium lime remover. Which, which is works quite really probable. Well. Really, really well. Yes. Like, honestly, yes. if the pennies are really dirty, it works. But if you leave them on too long, it uh, actually soak out all the copper from the penny. So you end up with like really oxidized looking pennies. So oh. that would totally ruin this project. So even with the vinegar, you don't don't want to leave it soaking for an extended period of time just enough right. to get them clean yeah and then that's it and I think really with any DIY project I think just kind of upping the ante anytime you do a project everything's already been done before so it's kind of reinventing it and saying how can I put my own stamp on this project and really making it mine mm -hmm. and personal and I think that's what makes great materials I like that reinventing maybe something an old faithful yeah just like Madonna just like Madonna. <laughs> Always gotta now. reinvent yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, yeah. And what I also love is that these things, as you said, you know, this mirror costs you five bucks. That's right. Yes. It's, you mean you can have these unique one-of-a-kind pieces that you think would maybe cost hundreds or thousands of oh, dollars. Yes. I'm sure that if you are... bought this somewhere, it would be hundreds of dollars. Absolutely. Yeah, that's. I was joking with Bridget before we started that this mirror was six hundred dollars, and she <laughs> believed me. Yeah. And no, start a business after. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You totally could. Totally could. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna start finishing this off here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How am I doing? You're doing amazing. Honestly, nice. I've got to say, I've got chic company beside me helping me out here today. Oh, Usually, I'm doing that. this at 3 in the morning business. all by myself. So. <laughs> 3 in the morning? You should get some rest. It takes a lot of time to apply the pennies, let me tell you. So. Now, Nicholas, you're going to hang out with us again for another few minutes, right? We'll be back in here I making so, something yeah. else. We have another uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're making a, another cool mirror, but totally different looking. So, totally I'm really different. excited about that. And for the outdoors. Oh, well, for the outdoors. Oh, because you got to look at everywhere you go, right? Indoors, That's outdoors. Right. So, it's Nicholas Rosacci. For more information, you can go to www.rosacci.com. And again, he is appearing at the International Home and Garden Show happening Saturday, April 14th. Like I said, when we come back, we're going to be making another project right here. So uh, go out, grab some pennies, get this going, and then we'll be back to something else after this. Stick around. Back to daytime. Here we are, still in the kitchen, hanging out with Nicholas Rosacci who is the DIY guy, and he's here. We made uh, a mirror before the break. Now we're going to make another one, but totally different. Totally different, yes. Totally different. So thank you so much for hanging around and oh, teaching us this stuff. Very cool. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Very well, cool. Well, this is a take on the Sunburst Starburst mirror, which is so in vogue, and we've elegantly adapted it for the outdoors using chicken wire. Right. It's really inexpensive. Oh, this is for your, maybe your outdoor patio. It's for the patio, oh. and right now it's the home and garden show going on, so it's all about spring decorating and what you can do to really kind of mm -hmm. create some wow factor on your patio, and this is one of those cool projects. Okay. Definitely is going to create that wow factor. Definitely so. It all might right. cool your hands a little bit, but that's why that's you why we got the gloves going, going right yeah, there. That's right. Okay. That's going to keep you from getting like wrestler fighter hands and stuff like that, which is <laughs> very, very, very important. I, of yeah. course, I'm just going to suffer, so. Well, you're a pro anyway, so let's take a look at what we actually need to okay. put this together. Well. You oh, can just start with. And this is just chicken wire, right? Just chicken, chicken wire. Which that you get in a giant roll like this. Do. Yes. Just like that. So that's from the about hardware store. $12. You get so much of it, so oh. you can do other things with it as well. Nice. But literally, you'll use most of it for this project because we're going to create four fan sections. So if you guys remember in school, mm -hmm. paper fan folding, where mm -hmm. you fold the paper over itself, same technique that we're going to use here today, only we're going to use chicken wire. Oh, okay. that's so easy. So you guys ready to... Yeah. Uh, ready as all ever. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Yeah. Here okay, we so go. let's try that out. Okay, so we're going to bend the chicken wire. We're oh, yeah, this is a little sharp. It's a little bit on the okay. sharp size. You're going to use brave. wire cutters to actually cut it to your measurement, and okay. we did this 24 by 24. How far am I bending this? Am I folding it? Oh, yeah, you're oh, just okay. folding it. Okay. Now, you you just, a great job, I assume actually. you just have to Thank follow you. the grids on there to sort of make sure that you're doing evenly. That's right. So if back. you've done like four folding over, you're going to try and do the same thing, mm -hmm. but it can vary a little bit. So it doesn't have to be perfect, and that's what makes it so whimsical for the outside. Right. So we're going to flip it over, oh, and we're going to okay. do the same, trying not to take out anyone's Oops. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Jason, look out. Yeah, really. Okay. 
Now, this is, uh, like you said, for the outdoors, and um, it's obviously just regular color right now, but your finished product over here has been painted blue, and you spray painted that. I spray paint it with regular spray paint, but another great tip that you can do is automotive paint, which you can get at any auto oh, supply, and that okay. those cool finishes like that Ferrari yeah, yeah. red or right. Cadillac white, so, and nice. they're also, they keep the metal from rusting, so it's really good for an outdoor application such as this. Yeah, absolutely. Good tip. So we could keep bending this back and forth, mm -hmm. but I think... We'll have no hands left. <laughs> and you, want, you said you wanted four sectionals to put it you all together. You want, actually, yes. So every 24 by 24 piece is going to create four folded fan sections. Okay. So, so once you have it, like, sort of folded, mm -hmm. and we're just going to pretend that we have it all the way to the top, yeah, yeah. you take something like a heavy book. Okay. Or, like, um, a ruler. Something works really well, too. I kind of like this. My big design book that I yet to read. <laughs> but it comes in handy for other things, so... So you're just going to put it in the it. middle and then just kind of okay. fold up the section. Oh. And you'll do that once you have it all the way up. And then oh, I see. you end up getting and this. And then we end up getting that. Okay, now, so unlike we thought, if you want to keep on that up for actually one second, sure. we thought that it was conveniently in a perfect fan shape, but you actually <laughs> want to cut it so that it does have that. You do. So you're going to get okay. little um, clippers. So why don't you, you try that, Jason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll pass that over to you. This we'll I might say maybe wear by. goggles with and, and don't point away, you mm -hmm. know, point away from somebody when you're doing it. But you're going to just kind of take the um, the clippers and just kind of trim out the pieces. It cuts really easily. It's not really hard to it do. It does okay. really easily. And then you can remove various lengths. Oh. So you can create these almost like, I like to call them um, rays of uh, sunshine. Right. So you just kind of do that all the way around. Can I give that a try? Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Thanks. So, I mean, Nicholas, how do you fit these do-it-yourself ideas with the colors and themes that are already working in your home? Um, do you work around what you already have, or do you kind of plan accordingly to what you want to I think you always got to plan accordingly no matter what you're doing which is why the International Home Show is such a great thing to come out and take a look at because we've got something like um, 250,000 square feet of exhibitors and experts that are wow. there so obviously planning is important get out there know what's out there know what's available but when you're decorating your home, I always say your home is like a great suit. If you get the suit right, the shirt and tie or blouse and scarf can give you many different looks. So that's the thing. Have fun with your home. Really create a canvas to your life. And mm -hmm. these projects are unique and they say something about you. Absolutely. Great. Now we've got some zip ties on the back of this. Oh, yes. What, what is this for? for? These are the secret to tying your four sections together. So these you just get like at mm. the Home Depot and yep. they just kind of go through. And you're going to attach all the pieces together just like that. Oh, then okay. trim them with your scissors because they just cut. So when you fold it in half, you do it. And then when you're putting the four together, you do it as well. That's right. Exactly. Oh, I see. Okay. And then you would just spray paint. Can we try spray, for spray painting? Can we spray paint in here? Can we do no, that? No, we don't no? have any paper. <laughs> no. Well, we can put this piece You're going right to cover down. the whole... All right. Ooh. Okay. We might get spray paint everywhere, but that's oh, okay. okay. So I, I matched it to my jacket just in case. So <laughs> Very coordinated. Yeah, I like it. Today. So. Okay. Well, then... Maybe, okay. Well, maybe just a... Uh, there we go. Want to spray no? this one? Okay. We'll, we'll get a little not. spray. We'll get a little spray. Oh, okay. Just a little well, we make sure it's over the, the table, paper. So we got to make sure we'll it's over the table. We'll do it over the table. Okay. I'm the master of the spray pen. I won't get it anyway. Okay. Okay. So just gently. Just really gently. There it is. Oh, okay. So there it is. And you do That's both so sides as well, too. and that's that where you get really that deep variation in color. Yeah, well, thank you. and then you can, co you can cover the um, You cover the plastic well. clips, and as you can see on this one, you don't even see them anymore. They virtually disappear. Oh, hmm. this is lovely. I love this. It's nice, eh? This is great. Mm -hmm. So are we going to take this, these kind of things away from your uh, stuff at the home show coming up? Oh, absolutely. Wow. So we're going to be doing, I think it's like eight or nine different projects, including making your own headboard from an artist canvas, because tufted headboards are oh. so in vogue at the moment. So we've got that one. We've got a great garden urn DIY. So many different ones. Um, Dabble Mag, of course, is um, you know the leader in DIY projects right now at the moment online, and it's a free magazine from Kimberly Selden. Mm -hmm. So it's like any other design magazine, but it's unlike any other in the fact that it's all interactive. It's free. If you see a lamp in a room that you like, you can actually just click on it with your mouse, and it'll take you right to the manufacturer to buy that lamp. No so way. So Kimberly's oh. all about getting Dabble out there, getting DIY out there, and mm -hmm. really getting people to inspire to really create really cool spaces and things. So that's oh, no, um, I think we actually have a photo of some of the do-it-yourself do projects that oh, we can yes. expect mm -hmm. to see. So maybe you can guide us through them just like this. Oh. This is so fun. Well, thanks, guys. I wish I had I have so home. much fun doing this stuff. <laughs> okay, so, oh, this is what it actually looks like inside the home. That's what it looks home. like. Oh, this I like that with made. the different sizes. Remember when you talked about the different sizes? Yes. That's exactly what we're talking about here. So, and again, different colors. We used automotive paint on all three of those. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's just so Jonathan Adler. It's got that, like, juicy pop, which is so right. big for the season. It's Absolutely. so modern. Isn't it? That's what mm -hmm. I love about it. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and it's really interesting that something that 
is that modern and contemporary can be done with you know the scraps that you can find around absolutely. your your garage exactly. and still look like a million dollars. So. Absolutely. <laughs> Nicholas, I'd like to know what your house actually looks like. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'd love to do a tour one day with you guys. Is it covered in do-it-yourself It is the DIY palace. It certainly is. Yeah. So. But okay. everything is primo. Everything but I bet it doesn't look anything. I mean, people would never know walking into that probably is all. That's the best thing. When you do any project, though, you really kind of, if you put love into it and you put time and attention mm -hmm. into it, it, it's just going to look stellar and people are going to think you bought it. So, right. and you know what? Just tell them you bought it. Say I spent <laughs> like $300 on it or something. Don't, don't, don't tell them you Nobody spent $300. Nobody would know. Keep your secrets mm -hmm. to yourself, <laughs> right? right? Well, Nicholas, thank you so much for coming and sharing these yeah. two amazing secrets with us today. I'm going to start cracking and making my own mirrors mm -hmm. as we uh, wrap Absolutely. up the show Excellent. later on. But uh, again, Nicholas Rosacci, the do-it-yourself guy. You can check him out in action so in the good. flesh Saturday, April 14th at the International Home and Garden Show right here in Mississauga. A lot to learn, a lot to take away today. We'll be right back after this on Daytime. We're working out. We are. Like that? That's how we're going to do it. <laughs> Woo.